I'm sure many of you out there are wondering what is up with the next version of NVIDIA's uh, graphics cards, namely the 5000 series. You've been probably using the 4000 series and unless you have one of the higher VRAM cards out there, you probably run into some issues with some of the more modern games out there on the market. As we get closer to CES, we are starting to get more information about what's coming from NVIDIA. And now that CES is just around the corner, some of that information is starting to become more concrete and we have a little bit more information about what the graphics cards are going to detail and what the release date will possibly be. So in this video, I'm going to go over those details, give you the breakdown of what some of the specs are in the RTX 5000 series, as well as when those release dates could be. But before we dive into the information, if you're new to this channel and enjoy this type of content, you have landed at the right place. Do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that like button as well. All right, let's dive into this information right here. Rumors and leaks about NVIDIA's RTX 5000 GPUs point to an early 20, a 2025 launch. Here's what we know. Now, this is an article out of windowscentral.com. So, like I said in my intro, you've been using a lower VRAM card right now for modern gaming. You're probably running into some problems right now. And hopefully, like again, we know that hopefully in January, this information about the 5000 that may be coming in there. So some help is on the way. So let's dive into this. So the, the NVIDIA 40 series GPUs have now been on market for more than two years. And rumors around the next G, uh, RTX 5000 Black Road cards have been picking up steam in recent months. Uh, so the release date for that. So NVIDIA hasn't announced anything yet for the 5000 GPUs, but leaks and rumors have led to the new hardware being shown at CES in January. So yes, yeah, so CES is around the corner in January. I will be at the show covering it live. So if you want to stay up late with all the CES news, make sure you're locked here. And so hopefully these cars will be there. So I will definitely want to go there and get some, get my hands on them, get some videos and pictures for you guys. So make sure you're locked to this channel right here. Um, we have a report out of video cards that says that covers an accidental leak from an NO3D representative. In the live stream on the P Chow YouTube channel, the rep stated that the 5090 will be released at CES 2025, right? This is what I expected. And in another report, information claims that the RTX 5080 will, will be the first card to hit the market rather than the 5090. Uh, and this is according to the video cards reports that the, according to the bench life, uh, board partners are gearing up for a Q1 2025 release of the RTX 5090, 5080, 5070 Ti, and 5070. And then the 5060 Ti, 5060, will release later in the year. So I'm not sure when those cards in terms of what it be Q2, Q3, the more likely to say here, 5080 will come out first and then maybe a week or so, then probably 5090s and then obviously uh, 5070s will probably come up right after that. So again, Q1, broad range anywhere between January to the end of March. So obviously at CES, we'll probably get a more concrete date and more firm uh, stance on date and probably price as well. So. Let's talk about some of the specs. So uh, obviously when we jump up to the 5,000, we're looking for that spec boost to be good enough and hopefully satisfy some gamers. So if you remember when the 4,000 series was launched, a lot of gamers were not happy with the original 4,000 series. They didn't feel that like it was a big enough jump. So Nvidia did tie us over with the super, uh, the 4070 and the 4080 super to bump it up just a little bit. So that pleased a little bit of people. So. Hopefully with the 5,000, they can correct that and gamers will be happy right out of the box. So yeah, we know that the 5,000 GPUs will be using NVIDIA's Blackwell architecture. Now that is the same architecture that they use for their AI chips. Now, obviously this is not the same GPUs, but you know, same architecture as compared to what the RTX 4000 was using the Ada Lovelace card. So let's take a look at some of the specs for the 5090 versus the 5080. So uh, we have CUDA cores, we have 21,760 CUDA cores for the 5090 versus 10,000 for the 5080. So the CUDA cores, if you want to get into some generative AI, if you want to do some crypto mining, uh, some video editing, more cores you got there will be better off for you. So if you want to do that, the 5090, 5090 might be the car for you. 32 gigabytes of RAM of GDR7, 
I think the 4090. So in a minute, I will compare it to what the 4090 was, just so you can see what that spec bump up for the 5090s are. And I've seen online a lot of people saying, "Wow, 32 gigabytes." Yeah, they're going to definitely charge a pretty penny for that one. Yeah, I'm pretty sure they are going to charge a good amount for that. But we'll get to the price in just a bit. Uh, memory bus 512 versus 256. Uh, both are 28 gigabits in the memory speed. Memory bandwidth for the 5090 is 1792 versus 1024 for the 5080 uh power draw here 600 watts for the 5090 versus 50 uh versus 4000 for the 5080 so 600 watts that is a huge power supply there right uh i currently have 1000 watts in mine i'm sure if i was to spend that kind of money on a 5090 i probably would need a new power supply who who knows but that is a lot of power right there but we're 16 pins and obviously pci 5.0 uh again with vram becoming even more important in modern games current gen gpus like the 4060 with eight gigabytes aren't aging well so yeah just like i said if you have one of the lower vram cards modern gaming is going to give you a little bit stronger. again the 4060 is more of a budget card but again if you want to look for high-end gaming obviously you want to jump up to like the 70 and 80 even the 90 range so uh so will the rtx 5000 have dls4 so considering that when the 4000 launched it did launch with dlss 3.0 so it would make sense for the 5000 to launch with dls4 so um deep learning super sampling is a key ingredient in nvidia's gpu landscape boosting performance and quality significantly in many games by leveraging ai and specialized hardware so again dls 3.0 launch with the original car so i definitely expect the four to launch with that so let's uh compare what the 4090 looked like comparatively so again we had ada lovelace 16,000 cores so 5,000 core difference uh 512 tensor cores the article didn't say anything about tensor cores but i believe the 5090 will have like 724 768 somewhere in that range uh rt cores 128 memory 24 gigabytes versus 32 384 for the 4090 versus 512 for the uh, 5090. Memory bandwidth here is 1000 gigabits, uh, 1000 gigabytes per second. Uh, base clock speed here, 1800. Uh, boost clock, then you have the power draw, uh, 450. And obviously, the, the starting price for 1590, well, 1599 when it first came out, but that jumped up to $2,000. Uh, definitely very easy as you know, supplies continue right now. So a decent bump up compared to the 4090s, especially in the, the core categories, CUDA cores, the RAM, and the, and the bandwidth. So, card again, it's just more than likely the 5090 will be the one to beat. Obviously, yeah, it's a 40, the 4090 is the one to beat. 5090 will continue that. So, let's talk about pricing again. They're expecting the pricing to be anywhere between $1,600 and $2,000. Again, the $1,599 for the 4090. This one I expect to probably be closer to the $2,000 range. I will be shocked if it launches at $1,600. Again, also uh, according to availability, I can see that price going up to $25,000, $3,000, especially if, it's, if it sells out when it drops. Depending on what the stock level is uh, that Nvidia is going to ship with, that price can, do, can go up very fast. So if you are itching to get your hands on a 5090, Get it day one. Don't wait a week or two because stocks may run out and then that price is going to go up. So make sure you jump on that real quick if you definitely want to get your hands on the 5090. So uh, here's just the rest of the lineup here just to see here. 5050, they got a 5060 Ti, 5070, 70 Ti, 80, and then 90. So just to give you a look at what they are in terms of RAM uh, memory as well. 16 gigabytes for the 70. So for the TI and then 70 for the regular. So I think that's on par with what we have for the 40 series as well. So again, the this will expect it to be launched at CES in January. So again, I will be there at the show. Uh, hopefully I can get my hands on this car. I will definitely be getting pictures and video of that. So if you want to stay up to date with your CES news, make sure you're locked right here to this channel. But that is everything I wanted to cover in this video. What do you guys think? Are you looking forward to the new 5,000 cards? Which card are you more excited for? Are you willing to pay the 2,000, probably over 2,000 for the 5090 card? Let me know down in the comment section. Once again, thank you for taking time out to watch this video. 
if you enjoy this type of content and stay up to date with latest tech news, then you have to add the right channel. Do me a huge favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, and hit that like button. And chances are, if you enjoy this type of content, you have friends or family that enjoy this type of content as well. So make sure you share that with them. Also, if you want to stay up to date with the latest tech news, head over to sound3.com where I curate and aggregate tech news from around the web, covering Apple, Samsung, Google, Android, computing, and even more general tech news, all at the website sound3.com. And for even more tech news in video form, check out one of these two videos right here. Until the next video, guys. Stay nerdy.